Welcome to International Home and Garden Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. Feel what it's sitting on? Yeah, I feel that, yeah. Now just lift it off about an inch, right straight up, and then set okay. it back down. It becomes heavy now. Yeah, it's a heavy it. stone. Yeah, yeah. Cool. now okay. set it back down. Now find me those three points of contact again. Yeah, just wobble right it back there, and forth. Right now, if it's going to fall this way, you got to push it over. Yeah, right, you're right, getting right. it. You got it. Now, nice. <laughs> you see that? And, and I got to tell you something. You're only the third person that's ever interviewed me that's got the rock. Okay, what you're looking at is called visual awareness art. It's designed to tickle your imagination, to visually remind that even when things appear impossible, when you're unstoppable, impossible truly is just a word. When was the first time you ever balanced a stone? Ju July the 2nd, 1992 was the first day this accidentally happened in Vancouver. I, really, I was, I was on vacation, I went to Vancouver, and I sat down in East Bay and I had nothing to do. I started balancing rocks and people started gathering around. and, and by four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm on my hands and knees and I got the place full. And it's now really the first art display. And I'm looking up at thousands of people. I got one TV station here, another TV station here, and the Vancouver Sun is snapping pictures. And I'm looking down going, what's going on here? Well, here's an interesting <laughs> note. I was actually living in Vancouver at the time when this first went up. And uh, we walked down to English Bay and we actually saw that live. And it was absolutely beautiful. Yep. It's absolutely amazing. You look at the water and you see all these stones just stacked up. And you also did another display on a river somewhere in Vancouver. I remember seeing yeah, that as yeah, well. Ca Capilano River. Capilano River, yep. yeah. It's nice to come and do these shows to say thank you for Rock Valley for everything they do, supplying stones for the CD and other shows I do. But really where we go is we go to schools and juvenile correctional centers. And what I do in a school, I like to remind kids that education is a great thing and, and it can take you to the top of the world. But unfortunately, education doesn't work for everybody. So I'd like to go to schools and remind these kids, if education's not working for you, before you go to the drugs and the alcohol and the gangs, try the other choice. It's full of ideas that no one has because we're different from everybody else. And maybe I don't touch everybody, but you know, I honestly believe that maybe I touch one kid, that when the drug man comes, when that crack man comes to him, he just looks and goes, you know, I met this guy one time at Balanced Rocks and told me that your drugs would make me feel good. But you know something, he told me that maybe I'd go to the top of the world with this thing. And that's really why I do this. So, you speak at schools. How, how does someone get a hold of you to have you speak at a school? Uh, rock on Rock. .ca is my website and you can get all the information right off rockonrock.ca and I have an email address that's rockonrock at hotmail.com and the neat thing about a school I don't leave until every child has balanced a rock at least one rock every in a whole bunch and there's a reason for this they look at it and they go well that's impossible and I hate that word and and you got to see the look on a eight or nine year old kid's face when they you show them how to balance a rock and they bounce that first rock and you look in the face and go you realize you just did impossible now and, and it clicks in. I just did impossible. And I think it stays in some of those kids' heads forever that nothing will ever, ever be impossible in their life. I honestly believe this. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and remember, there's no show too big for Exhibit Showcase. We're here to take in some of the uh, wonderful exhibitors at the show and to talk about what they have, which is new, which is exciting. I think Jenna's got to put about a thousand photos, and uh, <laughs> they're good.